Hi there, I'm Dr. Rebecca Harwin from the PCOSclinic.com and ConquerYourPCOSCourse.com and today I wanted to talk about thyroid issues as they're very common in women with PCOS. In fact, women with PCOS are more likely to have not only hypothyroidism or a sluggish thyroid, but thyroid autoimmune disease. I wanted to talk about how you know that you might have a thyroid problem. So some of the signs and symptoms of this are also common in PCOS. Weight gain and an inability to lose weight, tiredness, infertility and irregular cycles, dry skin and hair, and losing the outer third of your eyebrows, being puffy, having fluid retention, muscle weakness, muscle pain, muscle cramps, frequent infections, um, feeling foggy in your brain or having constipation, depression, having a throat pain or a sensation that something's there and irritability are some of the signs. The tests that you should have taken to determine the thyroid health are more than just what is normally taken. So thyroid stimulating hormone or TSH is the most common test taken. Now according to the PATH lab results, if you're between 0.5 and 4 or 5 depending on the lab, then you're fine. But what the research shows is that you really should between, be between approximately 1 and 2 or 1 and 2.5. And that's where I like to see my patients and that's where people seem to be at their healthiest. Um, there's other tests that really should be taken in a woman with PCOS and they include T4, T3, reverse T3 and thyroid autoantibodies. Um, these are often not taken by your GP but they can be referred for through certain um, path labs like HealthSpoke, for example. Um, a poor thyroid, when it comes to PCOS particularly, causes a decrease in a hormone called follicle stimulating hormone, or you might see it on your results as FSH. When you get a decrease in your FSH, you can't stimulate and mature a follicle. So this actually looks a lot like the polycystic ovary, when you look at the string of pearls result on your ultrasound or MRI test. This means that you can't mature an egg, which means you can't produce an egg, which means you can't make a baby. Having troubles with fertility and you're suffering from PCOS, thyroid is an issue. But there's also a lot of other things that can contribute. So if you go to www conquer your PCOS naturally slash PCOS fertility special report you can download a free report how to have babies even with PCOS other than that um, I'll be back with more info to tell you how to actually improve your thyroid shortly so subscribe to this channel and I'll catch you soon bye